Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tower reading for my Leos for the week starting January 25th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. You can like and share my videos with your friends and your family. And also, I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I also pre-shuffle the cards as well. Okay? So let's see what we have for you this week, my Leos. So we're starting with the nine of once or the nine of rods, okay? Depending on the deck. This deck is by Morgan Greer. It's a tarot deck. So it shows that uh, some of you um, have been, you know, um, overcoming some obstacle. Okay. And some of you will be overcoming obstacles. Um, the nine of uh, wands, rods, it's a card about, you know, um, trying to keep everything under control when there's a lot of work. Okay. A lot of work, a lot of energy being spent, you know, like maybe, maybe the energy is a little bit scattered. You know that Mercury is retrograde. So I feel that you're starting this week with the need, because you're already looking at the future, the need to keep it all together, but it could be hard, okay? There could be more obstacle coming in this week. The good thing is it will be the last um, few days of Mercury retrograding, okay? There's still the shadow phase where Mercury has to go back to the degrees where it started the retrograde, but at least the movement is forward. Okay, we'll see what you're looking at um, in the near past position, my Leos, attached to this energy. We have here the Queen of Swords. Oh, that's very positive movement. It could be that you were put in a situation that you had to maybe use a little bit more of, you know, um, uh, of your authority to keep control. Okay, in at home, it could be that maybe, you know, um, there's a lot of dis disruptions, maybe unexpected guests, and you're trying to keep it all together. But having this Queen of Swords, and the reason why I went back to it is it's a very, comp you know, um, mutual energy, okay? The Queen of Swords is, is the one who, who has the most control in all the Queen. In fact, she's all about control. Okay, and she comes in in this reading as an ally. Okay, so it could mean that for those of you that are trying it to keep it together, it shows that you will. You may get some help. Maybe you know a woman will come and help you. But I don't try to attach. You know, uh, I don't want to go into a the mundane interpretation because we see here it's a queen. But yes, and but. I also feel here that, you know, there's a team, you're working at a team, even if that person may not be physically there, you're getting a support in, um, in you achieving all those, you know, uh, goals that you have, or, you know, and you just overcoming those obstacles, whatever, whatever they are, okay? So this is good to have um, this energy for you here, just besides... Um, the nine of wands and let's see what we have in the future position for you my leos we have here the nine of cups it's gonna be an amazing week actually because i find that you know maybe the mercury retrograde did allow you to see things for what they are it, approaching things in a very realistic way because we know that Leos are so spontaneous and they, you know, they go forward and sometimes they think after. And most fire sign, not that they're not thinkers, but they're, you know, when they have that passion, they're just going to go for it. Here with the Nine of Cups, it shows that you're going to have 
this desire that you had, this wish coming true, a reward, okay? And this is something coming through your own effort, by the way. This is you just, you know, I feel that um, maybe this new moon that will take place this week, I mean, I'm doing the reading ahead, but I think the new moon is around the 24th to 25th, and it's in your sign. So, you know, nine also represent culmination, okay? So I do feel that you, there was some type of culmination um, that you have been uh, going through the last maybe few weeks. And now you're, find, you're getting already a reward, a great one, okay? And having the nine of cups in the future position shows that... Um, it's going to be an energy of, uh, how can I say, that will remain with you for a long time. This joyful energy, this, um, you know, um, gift, okay? The Nine of Cups is very pleasant, okay? Especially when you have been working very hard. So I'm not sure what it is. It's a general reading, but if there's something that you have been warning and you have been waiting or just controlling yourself knowing that it's mercury retrograde or whatever reason that you um you had to pause or really re restrain yourself this action already show growth in you and because of it you know you're gonna get a reward and i say this because the queen of swords could just be as well you mastering um you know the control that you're having on others or just it could also be you here mastering uh, the challenges you know the challenges that you are now are becoming a skill that you possess it's a very in terms of energy it's a very positive uh, week for my Leo's extremely and let's see what we have for you in the position of the outcome for you my Leo's we have here the seven of cups See, that's the thing is when we get something, you know, you're getting that reward and you're already thinking, oh my God, I'd like to get more. I want to do better, which is great. It's great. Um, here, my Leos, remember now we're going to start, you know, Mercury going into a forward motion after the shadow phase because even, <coughs> excuse me. In a retrograde, in a forward motion, Mercury has to go back to the degrees that it went retrograde on. So we call it a shadow phase. But, you know, now you're going to be dreaming big, okay? Because you were able to, again, overcome those challenges. And, you know, people are now looking at you, you know, and they're seeing your potential. Now you're yourself. Um, you know, connecting with your higher self. A new moon is very spiritual. I'm sorry, a full moon. Any, you know, new moon or, or full moon, it's it's very special transit. Uh, but full moon, you know, it's definitely intuitive. It's very spiritual. So, you know, um, it's good that you're, you'll feel optimistic and you'll look at different possibilities. But be mindful not to go ahead of yourself here. It does represent a certain level of illusions. Okay, but because it will be in a week of Mercury going, like I said, forward in a shadow phase, you know, I find I think that next week you'll get the full clarity that you need. Absolutely. And by you having this wish coming true and having the seven of cups in uh, the outcome, you know, you're going to make it. It seems there's a decision for you to actually really get exactly what you want. Be mindful of thinking something that will remain with you for a long time, okay? Um, because having Mercury in Capricorn teach, teaches you something serious, okay? Mercury is critical and Capricorn is serious. So make sure you get, you know, something that you need and you progress. You go always with, you know, connecting with your higher self. And sometimes, you know, having some type of illusions or being caught up in our head, we, we waste some time, okay? So we'll see. We'll have to see next week. I'm excited for you, actually, Leos. Have to see how it, uh, you know, it resonated with you. Please leave me comment below the video. Let me know how it went or how it's going. I'm going to 
end this reading here for my beautiful Leos. Sending you lots of kisses. I love you, my Leos. Bye.